How is it going, boys and girls? Welcome back to Key West Waterman. My name is Aaron Young. Um, this should be a shorter video, but I've been meaning to make this. A lot of you guys were asking since I've built this new Ginu. Just haven't had time to do it, and I haven't been able to get my hand on another prop to test. But um, what I'm going to do today is I'm going to show you um, how the boat runs with the current setup it has, um, speed, RPMs, uh, economy, stuff like that. And then we're going to switch one of the props over. Right now I've been running a four blade. We're going to switch to a three blade. See if there's any speed or economy difference, but um, got a nice slick morning this morning. I looked out on the bay off the balcony and um, it looked good, so we're gonna run out there and do some testing. Pearl. She didn't like that. I wanna get out there real quick. Um, I'll show you what prop I have on. We'll find a shallow spot and I, uh, I want to talk about a couple things about the boat and some changes I've made um, and then we'll get to it. Alright, so this is a 2020 Super 18 Ginu. Uh, we did it completely custom. If you go to the factory, they're not going to build this for you. We did it completely custom top to bottom. Um, Something obviously that you'll notice different is that helm up front. If you want a full walkthrough on the video, I'll put a little tag up here and you can see the walkthrough video. But I wanted to talk about a couple things because we did put that helm up there. Um, the boat does ride a little different. Normally in these boats, you're steering from the back or in the center. Uh, and with that weight offset, it's a little different. I've been on and driving Guineas my whole life, so I'm pretty familiar with it. Something I, important I did want to mention, uh, and the reason being is after people saw this video, they've been emailing me um, and leaving comments and saying they're gonna build their own. So I, I need you to understand um, that's not where the helm is supposed to be. It does offset the weight a little bit. The boat rides different. It's a flat boat built for calm water. So if you're in rough water or you don't know how to drive it, then nose will dig a little bit. So something we did to um, help prevent that is, uh, these, these are called, I think depending on who you ask, thrust rod, thrust, thrust, excuse me, thrust rod, um, and what this does is it prevents the motor from trimming down um, to a negative trim because if I trim too negative it's going to bring the bow down and you don't want that bow to grab so, so that's something we did if you ever consider building this boat at your own risk um, make sure you figure that where that point is where you can trim down comfortably without the nose starting to grab especially with all that extra weight up front I put a 90 on this uh, mainly because it's the same weight as the 75 and it wasn't much more uh, and I figured a bigger motor is going to help offset that weight in the front. So there we are. Again, if you want to watch that walkthrough video, I'll put a tag for it. So this is the first prop uh, that I have on. Uh, we're going to run it out there and show you the RPMs and the uh, miles per hour. This is a Spitfire XS from Mercury, 13.5 uh, by 15 pitch. Um, this is a four blade. So we'll get that out on the water, show you what it runs like, and then we'll come back in here and swap it out. All right, so 18 foot Ginu, Mercury 90, uh, 15 pitch, four blade. Get you a whole shot here. As you can imagine, it jumps up pretty quick.
on a really calm day. Um, I'll set up the camera and maybe get some drive-bys so you can see what it looks like at speed. And then we'll swap the prop out. And always wear your safety lanyard. I most certainly should not be doing this over the water, but I'm in nice, really shallow, clean water, and I'm going to be really, really careful. But I'm going to switch um, from a four-blade 15 pitch to a three-blade 16. And something I, when I was picking out props, I honestly thought the four-blade would be good because of the stern lift. It'd keep the bow down, and it almost has too much stern lift. Um, I thought with this big of a motor, I would have a little more... Uh, porpoising but I don't so maybe the three blade will fix that but that's my hope I'm not really big on speed I like to be stable and I like to get good economy the biggest thing on a boat like this especially steering from the bow I want to be safe This is actually a, uh, a Yamaha prop, so someone let me borrow it, but it has a little adapter right here. All right, <clears throat> three blade 16 pitch, here we come. All right, Ginu Super 18, 90 Mercury, uh, 16 pitch three blade I wanted to kind of get back and where the wind was calm the winds picking up a little bit over there so I'll give you a whole shot about the same close to it wild I think I uh, flirted with 43 there for a second well I think that is all I have um, I, I'd like to watch the footage back I feel maybe it's in my head I feel like the three blade did get me up just a hair Definitely got some top end. I can't remember what the the economy and RPM matchups were. Maybe I'll throw a side-by-side a -side comparison up on the end, but um, I I think I'll end up probably going with a three blade. Whether this it's this exact one or not, I don't know yet, but um, I felt like the handling was a lot better. So I'm gonna drive it around a little more today, and um, that's all I have. Hopefully you learned something, hopefully you enjoyed it. Uh, if you have any questions, I will try to get to them in the comments. They've been hard to keep up with lately, um, but I appreciate you tuning in. and. I'll see you on the next one. Later.